Hey everybody. Let's say the weather's really bad outside and you just had a severe thunderstorm warning issued for your county. The frequent cloud to ground lightning and frequent straight line winds. And your computer, your desktop computer is still running and you're wanting to shut it down very quickly without just unplugging it from the wall. Let's say um, you don't want to mess up windows. You want to have everything shut down properly. And you go to shut down the computer, you click on the start button and there in the start menu next to shutdown in the shutdown button is the little caution sign on the, on the shield. In other words, Windows Update. In the good old days of Windows Vista and Windows XP, if you want to get your, your computer turned off quickly, properly shutting it down, without installing an update, you could either in XP click the little link saying shut down the computer without installing updates, or in Windows Vista select the option to shut down the computer rather than selecting install updates and shut down. But anyways, the little genius at Microsoft who created Windows 7 decided to remove that feature from the start menu. So, when you lock, when you ready to shut down your machine, you just gotta wait on your updates to install, or you can just log out and then click on the options for shutting down. And of course it'll be there. You can either select shut down or install that updates and shut down. But let's say you're getting tired of having to log out of your user account just to shut down your computer without installing updates. Well, today I'm going to show you how to get Windows Update out of the shutdown button. Which, by the way, even sometimes when you select in the control panel for Windows Update to notify you when updates are available but not to automatically install them, it will still put the Windows Update symbol in the shutdown button, making you have to install updates when you're logged in, when you're going to shut down the computer. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to remove all that. Okay, here I am at my Windows 7 Home Premium based Acer Aspire 1 netbook. Let me show you exactly what everything looks like like I described earlier. You click on your start button, but here you have the shutdown button, but Windows Update is stuck there next to shutdown. You can mouse over here, but as you notice, there's no option to just shut down the machine without installing updates. However, you can actually log off or switch user. And as you see over here, I can click the little up arrow next to the shutdown button. And there they do have the option to say install updates and shut down. Or just shut down the computer altogether without installing updates. We'll go back into the user account. And I'll show you this as well. Go to the control panel. And down to Windows Update we go. See we have 35 updates to install in one optional. See, if this was a desktop computer with this many updates to install, and you had a severe thunderstorm warning out with a bad storm coming at you. It'd be very risky to sit there and watch your computer install updates while lightning's getting fired around all around your house and everything. Anyways, I click on change settings, and as you'll see, I already have it selected here to download updates, but let me choose whether to install them. But yet, this pesky little Windows Update icon is, is, is integrated into the shutdown button. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of this on Windows 7 Starter and Windows 7 Home Premium based machines or any other version of Windows 7 besides Professional, Enterprise, and Ultimate. This will open the registry editor and now you have to navigate to the following keys. H key current user, software, policies, Microsoft, and to Windows. You'll then right click on Windows, mouse over new, and select key. 
This key will be named Windows Update without a space. In some cases, this key may already be available. You'll type in Windows Update without a space, without a space, and press Enter. And now, we will right click on Windows Update. Select new again and say key. This will be called AU with capital letters. And we'll have to create a new D word value here. This will be named the following. No AUAS default shutdown option. Press enter. And then press enter again once it's highlighted and give it a value of 1, which this will be hexadecimal. Then select OK. Now when you click on the start menu, you'll notice here that Windows Update is no longer included in the shutdown button. However, if you want to install updates before shutting down the machine, there's now an option here for install updates and shut down. This looks similar to Windows Vista. So now anyways, you can shut your computer down really quickly before it gets struck by lightning. Anyways, now I'm going to show you guys how to do this on a machine that runs Windows 7 Professional, Enterprise, or Ultimate. Professional Enterprise and Ultimate versions of Windows 7 and Windows Vista have what's called a local group policy editor. I believe this also applies to Windows XP as well. When you click on the start menu in Windows 7 and Windows Vista, you will type the following in. It's called GP Edit and you'll hit enter. This will bring you to the local group policy editor. In the group policy editor, you will, of course, you can move this over to give you some more room to see everything. You go into user configuration, administrative templates, double click to open, Windows components, double click to open, and you will scroll down to Windows Updates at the very bottom. Double click to open. And of course I've already applied the setting. What you'll do is you'll find an option called Do Not Adjust Default Option to Install Updates and Shut Down in Shut Down Windows dialog box. It is a second item here, as you can see here. And what you got to do is set it to enabled. Of course, right click and say edit. And this will bring you this dialog box. You have three options not configured, enabled, and disabled. When you set it to enabled, it will remove the Windows update from the shutdown button in Windows 7. I can mouse over and as you can see here it gives you the options to install updates and shut down or to shut down the computer. So let's say you have a severe thunderstorm coming at you with a lot of lightning and you're ready to get your computer shut down really quick without unplugging it immediately. Just click shut down. 
No worries of having to sit in fear of your computer getting fried while it's installing updates. This is also more convenient if you're just doing some maintenance on your computer, like let's say you're swapping out components. This way, you can easily shut down the computer without Windows Update being in the way. Anyways, any questions or comments? Let me know.